So in this video we are going to see how to control the frequency of braying using 0 to 10 volt. Now the 0 to 10 volt is a very standardized control signal used in many different applications. This can be used to control the frequency as well of the drive. Alright, so now generally we use potentiometer to control the frequency. So we are going to use this potentiometer which will give us 0 to 10 volt. This is a variable potentiometer, variable resistance. So let's see the wiring, what is internal that. Now this is a, having a wiper inside that. If you open this potential from the back, you'll find a wiper. And if you rotate this one, the wiper is moving inside. Now, th now this wiper divides the resistance between these three terminals. Okay, so if the wiper is at this point, it has some resistance here and more resistance between these two, less resistance between these two. So when you connect voltage to extreme ends, in this case, we are going to connect zero and 10 volt, we'll have a variable voltage of zero to 10 volt because we are changing the resistance. Alright, so when you, if you want to see the wiring, that's the wiring. How to wire that in our VFT? That's the potentiometer. So extreme end is connected to 10 volt and 0 volt, which is coming from inside the drive. This 10 volt supplies from inside the drive. You don't have to buy some any external source of 10 volt. It's already there. Alright, so this middle point, which will give you 0 to 10 volt based on the wiper position, is connected to pin number 13. This is 0 to 10 volt V in. It's written on the drive. You can find that. Okay. So this is actually connected already in our drive. If you open this one, we have some terminals here which is connected to our potentiometer, okay, via this external terminals, these one, okay, it's already connected. So in this case, you can also connect your own terminals. It's very easy, not so any rocket science in that. So what happened in potentiometer, when you have zero volt, drive will run at minimum frequency, zero hertz. When you run at 10 volt, when this potentiometer is giving 10 volt, it will run the drive at maximum frequency. And in between 5 volt, it has 25 hertz. So you'll find out that at 1 volt of jump, you have 5 hertz of increase because at 10 volt, it's 50 hertz. At 1 volt, it will be 50 divided by 10, which is 5 hertz. All right. So what are the steps for that? Let's see the steps to control that using potentiometer. The step says in parameter 108, you have to enter 2. So let's go to parameter 108. Let's enter 2. Okay. Now the source has been changed to this potentiometer. To see that, Wiring is already done. Let's run the drive. I was running. Now potentiometer is at certain position right now. So if I rotate that, you'll find frequency is being increased. Okay, in this direction it is increasing in clockwise direction. If I rotate it anti-clockwise, it will decrease. Okay, that's how you can increase and decrease the frequency from external source. This is external potentiometer. Alright, and this is more, most widely used in panels. You may find such kind of potentiometers already there in the panel because people want to control that from outside. They, won't, they don't want to, they don't want to open the panel again and again and to control from internally. Although if it is not, you know, very easily or flexible to do that, we usually connect this potentiometer outside the panel to control the drive frequency, and that's how we can go about it. Okay, so this was controlling the potentiometer to control the frequency of the drive 0 to 10 volt that's standardized to 0 to 50 hertz or your minimum to maximum frequency in typical sense so that was all about controlling the drive using external port all right in next video we'll see how to control the drive using preset frequency four frequency set frequencies that'll be very interesting thank you